Well, I, I didn't know what quite what to expect, but I thought we might be using paints and then given a subject and uh, some instruction, but I, I really didn't know what it was going to be like. I had no idea. I just didn't know. I, I thought, oh gosh, I'm going to be with a load of artists and I'm going to make, you know, I should be nervous and all the rest of it. I was quite um, blank about it really. I couldn't quite fit it together in my own mind how, how that would work with people that suffered a stroke, etc. Well, I think one has to come with an open mind because I didn't have any agendas, no perimeters, nothing. I thought, well, this is completely new to me and if I can be of assistance or help, fine. I walked in and there was uh, one, two, three, four, about six people sat around this massive big table. And I thought, oh my giddy aunt, <laughs> this is going to be the thing. I, I, I didn't know what to expect and, and that, but um, Catherine was so lovely. She, she sort of introduced me to everybody. And Catherine had made an um, enormous amount of preparation and uh, had all these photos and pictures and she put all the materials out. Then Catherine basically said the type of thing that we'll be working with and what we'd be doing. She mm. said that what she'd done and how this had worked in other areas. I, I perceive my role to be, to be rooted in my experience as an artist because I'm not an art therapist or, or a medic. Um, and the group would know that from the beginning? Um, well, she sort of asked me how, you know, what, what I, if I could do anything, and I didn't know, and that, but um, all the stuff was there. Because I can't draw, I kept, I kept telling her. <laughs> well, she kept telling me I could. Yeah. And in the end, I did, so. Mm. She put all the paints out and the pencils, there's nothing to be afraid of. Because with me, I'm one of those, oh, you know, I can't do that, no, I don't want to go. But I do enjoy it. And then we, uh, it was basically, everything was thrown onto a large table. And then just help yourself, have a go at this, have a go at that, try what you want, you know. And they, you know, really get the idea that they don't need to be artists that have previous experience and they've, feel confident in those um, conversations and encounters to actually come to the session and know that they could start to experiment, try things out and that nothing's wrong. I felt elated. <laughs> I, I went home and I said to my daughter, I really love doing this, you know. I was looking forward actually to having something to go to as such that was meaning to me meaningful you know it was a funny feeling really I, i'd done it and i thought to myself right i've done it i can go again i tackled something that uh, I, I never dreamt i would ever do yeah. you need to be pushed sometimes especially after a stroke you need to be pushed yeah. and the more pushing you get the better you are <laughs> and um you know, she said, it's a good job, Mum. Mm. You know, it's, uh, she said, you want to try and keep it up? Mm. And that, so I, I said, yes, okay. And that, and I looked forward every single week to go mm. to our little session. And not just that, because of the lovely people that were there as well. Well, before I, um, I started the group, I didn't want to go out on my own. 
I um, had very little confidence. Yes, it was. I was felt quite negative just after I had the stroke because I'd never been ill, as I call ill. Mm -hmm. um, it really hit me like a ton of bricks. And you know, at the end of the day, you think to myself, "Oh, I don't know." It, I, I, I really thought it was the end of the world to me. Because you do come out of the hospital feeling a little bit, unless you've got somebody pushing you behind, you do feel a little bit um, lost. So you do need confidence put into you. Well, I was told that you will either suffer depression, because that sometimes the stroke will get better, then all of a sudden it won't get any better, and you will go through phases when you think, dear me, you know, I'm not getting over this. Well, there's been research in the past to show that people following a stroke and other people with long-term conditions have not only physical changes, but they have big psychosocial changes and that can really affect their sense of who they are, what's happening to them, what the world means to them now. And so it's been shown that people have quite a lot of difficulty in their self-confidence and a sense of who they are and where they're going to go in their life. I stayed at home you know, for a long time, mm. but uh, I went and I enjoyed it. Mm. There was probably a way out, out of things, you know, you could right. see a positive steps. Um, but I used to come, in that day of coming back, I used to feel more lifted, etc. So I think from a psychological point of view, it's, it was good. Well, he gave me the confidence to rekindle my passion, mm -hmm. as you might call it a passion, uh, for painting and, and writing. Mm -hmm. And so, during each week and various things, and ever since then, I put a certain amount of time away each week to concentrate and to prepare my mind for my next subjects or whatever. It was like a calming feeling I had come over me because I have sort of had lost all my confidence all I was thinking about was how I felt and was this a pain, was this an ache, was I going to have another stroke, was that just a headache or is it something else? And from time to time naturally there would be some reference to the stroke, the individual experience of the stroke, whether it was a loss or again finding something coming back or being pleased about some new aspect that was coming in. Um, but on the whole, um, I would be encouraging people to, to see that time as being a blank canvas. And so I thought it, something like this is going to concentrate my mind and take away all abstract thoughts. And I thought, well, yeah, this is going to be good. Whereas at one time I'd react very quickly, I now sort of think, well, don't do anything yet, sleep on it, see what it looks like tomorrow. I think I'd go out more. My wife and I, we go out more, more inclined to go out and just sit about, you know. It changed my perspective completely. Yes. And um, if I hadn't done it, I'd have still been, I would never have taken, gone back to painting or writing. Each of us have got more confidence. I can see it in the people, you know. So I haven't been idle in letting you just say, that was the end of the study, it's finished. It gave me a new perspective to look on life. And I thought, this is Martin, come on, get a gripper, you know, and that's it. My, my biggest hope would be that each participant would, would feel um, excited waking up in the morning, that they would have lots of potential to, to be in the world in, in perhaps slightly different ways, and that that's an ongoing process. I, I really love to do this and I honestly think, I don't know where, whether I should say it, but I think that everybody that, that has a stroke should have the opportunity to be able to do this type of work. I think it would in, it encourages people to do more, more different people, different encouragement. Before I went to the group I was prepared just to sit there and um, think about doing something but not actually doing it. Mm -hmm. But going to the group encouraged me to, to get up and, and do it. Well, I think as so the sooner it's introduced into the NHS, the better. That'll be marvellous. Because it is good. It's, a, a, it's somewhere where you can relax and you can talk and you can 
talk to the lady and that's it. You know, she'll help you as best she can. As you can see, it appears that this group has been really helping people to develop their confidence after they've had their stroke. And so what we're hoping to do now is to develop this research further. We need to take it further and test it out in other areas as well to really build up a good um, area of evidence for people. And then hopefully this will lead into development for the health service of a, a relatively low cost intervention for people after they've had their stroke to help them really build up their self-confidence and get on with their lives after they've had their stroke. It is interesting to find out that most people seem, seem to have taken things on in, in their own individual ways, but are very happy to come back and share. Um, just as a final, two words from Latin, carp diem, which you probably, probably all know, but it means you know, enjoy the moment, but grasp the future and enjoy life.